One of the interesting things that happened over the holidays as I was watching your Facebook and Twitter feeds uh, was that we were all kind of navigating these familial relationships around politics and what we would say and not say, what conversations we would avoid and with which uncle or aunt we would avoid them. And uh, the reality is that when we're in family situations, that actually can work. The problem is that in a Christian community, if we allow the narratives outside in the culture, uh, the partisan politics to be the narratives, even if they are left unsaid, and we don't uh, overlay that conversation with Christian narratives, then we're really not doing our work as Christian leaders. So as we face a year of dialogue and conversation in a country that is distrustful of its government and regardless of the uh, outcome, 50% uh, we're told uh, will not trust it uh, one way or the other. So we live in a time in which actually as Christian leaders, we need to do some work as Raymond Coles calls tabling, where we need to be able to lead our people uh, through conversation and listening and in the practice of being community. Uh, and that we need to do that intentionally from our Christian perspective and our Christian narrative. That means that we in the diocese are going to bring forward to help you, the leaders in the congregations, both clergy and lay, uh, programs and opportunities to kind of shore up your skills to help you get ready for uh, this year and the coming fall elections and what happens after that. One of the first things that we're going to do is to invite uh, Brene Brown and her team to come spend some time with us at Camp Allen. Uh, as we do this, we will re-engage uh, our uh, learning uh, about how to rise up and to walk into the arena, to lead, to brave with uh, trust and courage, to live out our values uh, as we kind of enter that uh, fray of rumbling and rambling and uh, we do so vulnerably and with our uh, best uh, listening skills. And so uh, as we invite us to be courageous and actually to lean into uh, these conversations as Christian leaders, uh, what we want to do is, is remind ourselves of our own calling uh, to dare to lead in this environment. And so uh, please uh, look at the details, register for this conference. Uh, this will be a foundational piece for the clergy as we do the rest of the work for the year. So I look forward to seeing you there.